targets were six to ten years old age. Next up, you have the ten to six years of age that's seen. Saloon stocks at the triple ones are there. That's Sam Cantwell. They drift between their 1.4 litres engine and driven by 10 to 16 years of age. So it's quite a bit happier to locus. So when they get up to 16 years old, they go into the adult class. Now a stock car is the year have the contact form there or a non-contact form. There. So we don't really want to get the out of it by another car. You go into the adult pro rods which are very much the same as the junior brought, which is the 1.6 litre engine. If you fancy having a ding-dong and a bit of a bash, the next car on the track here, the number 24, the white and the blue one with the two people sat on the roof, you can go into that class where if anyone's in the way, you can just ram them out of the way. Hi, boss. And then, uh, so you, that's the class for you. If you fancy having a ding dong, get involved there. Uh, and uh, on top of the 24 car there, uh, that's uh, Lee George, whose daughter has a birthday today. So happy birthday to the young one as the years fly by. Next up, after the three production, you've got the banger, which is also a full contact car. So if you fancy a bit of nitty gritty and hit each other, this is a class for you as well, where they kind of destroy each other. We've got two UK drivers over today. Great to see them here, because it's their second year here now. So 7 to 8 is Harry Rasput, and 4 to 8 is JC Greener. They're having a great time here, it's great to see them at the Star track. And uh, there's some of the locals that are having a good thing going with them two particular drivers. Maybe it's a and then this is at the back here, the 53 car, the one's big old wheels spin for that. The last four cars on the grid here are Bertie, the Yahoo. I've achieved these drivers, believe me, their individual egos will come out and put an absolute uh, great show on the sun. Yellow and black car in front there, that's Sam Crackler and Chipple 1. You got the 108 car, the red one, that's Riley Kersley, 23 is Harlow Hooper. And number four is eight, no boil at the back. Who's going to win this one? It's anyone's guess. Each and every one of these has got a chance. I think they've all won the race here this year. But they've all got a chance of winning this first race, which will be over the hand of full flaps. Uh, just to get them up to speed, like I mentioned. So off and run we go then. It's uh, the triple one car, San Cracknell. I see by the first you get the good start. The left hand comes the extra line now already. So round here, side of Sam Crackle that goes. Sticks to the end, Ryder Kersey out in the 108 car. Aiden O'Boyle then following him through in the blue car. He's going to track him down. It's a crack of the third place there. Sam Crackle. So it's 108 then, 108 on number four. That's the battle at the front. Down the far side then, second to. What's with the one of the drop them for four? The Alton Stark in this line once again. Moves around about 16 seconds, 70 seconds for a lap. It's a quarter of a mile, it'll be 17 seconds. I see the starter again ready with the laps to go, board. So Riley Kurz out in the red car, still in front of Aiden Oboilo. He might close him down, this is where the pressure Start moving on the 108 car, he started looking in his rear view mirror and seeing Aiden O'Boyle right off the boot, down the far side and past the burger, up they go. It's 108 then from number four. On to the start finish line then, we get the lap to the road ball It's going to be a close one. 108 then from number four. 23 Harlow Hooper and third place Sam Crackle then in four. Will Sam come in into the equation? I think we've just two more laps to go now. One more lap to go back. Out front then, it's the very last lap. One away then from number four. Eight no boilers. You know what to do? Will the back market come into play? Will Sam Crackle hold them up a bit on this final corner? It's one away then from number four. So it's really number one away. Yes, I know the back mark is in there. It's one away then. Riley Kersley, 
Get to an eight, no more than second place. All of you today is in car number 23. And fourth place then goes to the triple one, car the yellow on the black one. That is his young Sam Cracknell. Plenty of action on the race track. It's not half those rappers at the back there. Problems after the one away car, I think his brakes are jamming on. stuck on because the back wheel is just solid on the, on the back of that car so it just looked like this uh, black spot on the tyre the same there for the lack of the moment and uh, we have what is you can class the smoothest road here on the Isle of Man this racetrack is literally like a billy table there's a bit of a bump round by the pit gate you'll notice that in the next class of cars where they get a bit knocked out of shape. That's the 770 car we've got a bit of a buff on the front of that car. So, round the far side then for the very first half, this is the pit gate complex I'm on about, where they just go with a bit of a bump there, and then knock them out of shape a little bit. So, at the front then, they're pumped in and 3 2 five. Coming out of the start is second lap, gets the lead now in the 3 2 five car. To the back here, got a problem with the back axle. I think the front end is, I think the front end is going to fall off the 770 car. That's looks like some loose on the front of the 770. So definitely me, he's got a bent back axle. So 325 then is out in front. 54 then is two pavers. He's got a great battle. Two very, very extreme strides. 54 and 228. Keep your eye on for them. They're closing in on the 325. Oh, it's out of shape. 325 gets well out of shape over the pit complex bump. Back round to the start finish line they go. 325 then from 54 and 228. Daisy Thompson inside the air, that line up to allow 1719 to close the gap in on the two early leaders. Then the far side then up the inside of Daisy Seagulls, 228. Great for the driver there by young Dylan Westbury from 325 dead hunter. Dead under hard on the power and then inside goes 228. So the new leader then is 228 from 325, 54, TTP back in third place. Watch out for the back to go over the back there by the back gate. So it's 228 then, Dylan Westbrook from that under still 54, TTP. In third place, one set, one man in fourth place, fifth place then, the two seconds, doing any way DD, and in the fifth place then is five, two, five, the two cups to finish. So continuing on their way, the leader then is getting held up a little bit then, 54, getting held up in the five, two, two, five, going around the eight side. Of the lower runners, so it's still 2 to 8. He's got a huge advantage now. Can be easy to kick up the 3 2 5 off of the end of the deck hunter. So right down the X side she goes. Young Dixie Tina. Put the leader on the road. It's going to be 2 to 8. 
checkered flag, second place goes to 54, third place goes to 335, 77 gets the fourth. Each of these classes, yeah, we have three races for each of the classes, 19 races in total here today. So the first race then is won by the 228 car of young Dylan Westbrook. And it's great to see him racing around the track. He has a son or daughter aged between 6 and 10 years old and they fancy having a normal on these little ninja cars. Come and see Kevin Uber during the daytime. Very approachable chap. Not much money involved in these cars, so cheap form there. Shuffle in the back of your hatchback. Big round of applause, please. Two to eight, still and wet. Go on the far side. Let's have a big, big round of applause on the far side for two to eight. Well done, young Dylan. Excellent job there. Two to eight. Six points in the back. One nine count. Next up, you've got the. Uh, this might be one that crashed last night. The seven two five Liam Jackson car. And then at the back, you've got the seven oh seven car of Jim Riley Hooper. Ten to sixteen years of age in these drivers. So absolutely massive roll here last night. Such a bad roll with 10 times. So incredible. Incredible. It just jumps in like you have spring. So hard on the power then. One more time. Here we go. Back. Oh! There he goes, big crash there, taking out the top finish. <laughs> so down the far side there. The leader on the road then is the second, second car. Second place is the last behind, don't forget. Then he catches back up with the uh, 707 car. <laughs> That's a real thing. This is three cars. Again, 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 again,
a 21 car, but then you don't you can't just get into the champion. He's not a champion for no reason other than he's so quick. So he's going to win this one. This will be over about eight laps of racing. That's not much in this time, so if I may then get a good start from 21 then 24 in the air. That's a rare at the minute, but it can change. In on the 
John McCauley take around to pick the checkered flag. Well done, that's six points in the bag for the young fella. That's number 800 now, six points in the bag just from Triple 10 in the second place, Triple 4 third. Big round of applause here. Triple A, yeah, so 800 McCauley take. That's it, a big round of applause on the far side there, please, for the Corley tier.
many events in that four for the eight car, so the two you can see, oh, it's wonderful. And then again, on the last lap, it's lane 179, he pulls up on the gap, he goes pushing down the street, pushes him right down. He's got his push down there by the 48 yard. This far sound of the equipment is well, well prepared. Jim, big round of applause on the far side, please, for Jason Greener.
track conditions are shooting the 21, the lower bend the 24, then the far side then. If the father gets in front of the son, I think TJ is the one one die called just the one nice and good. Come on, then, get in front of the good man. Good man, Jamie, so bare bottle, here we go. Pushes him into the bend, he'll dust him up, you see, he's dusting the father up. The father's no slave, Joe. He knows how to control the camera. Here we go again. <laughs> well done, Jamie. So 10 to 16 is major people down the outside this time. So far we get it back. Yeah, he's got enough speed, he's going to get him on his corner. Come on, Jamie, that's it. From the knock him out. Down the far side then. He takes me in front of the father. Yeah. 
You be the one to hold that eight foot of that. The call is here then, eh? Big foot of it. Long foot of four. Back in. Good to see some work there with him, though. The big fat player now for second place.
decent. Six more points in the bank. Let's have a big round of applause on the far side for young Jason Greener.
side. Big round of applause.
Well, normally, six points at the back there. Drives the full seven, triple four, and seven. Number four is Aiden O'Boyle, Cameron Cannon in six, Leon Jackson in zero. Oh, 
think you'll make these back actions for a slave event. Just uh,
Steelers, German driver exceptionally well. Mark Hargreaves, Steve Bidey. Well done, Mark. Fabulous class, that was just a few more cars and then saloon stops in the absolutely superb. Big call for Easton. And in third place, the man behind me, Robert Hubert. Well done, Robert. In second place, we've got Callum Tilly, number 88. Well done, Callum. And the winner, driving exceptionally well, is number three, Brian Purdy. Well done, Brian. Come and get wet. <laughs> That's your prize for getting wet. Well done, Carl. <laughs> Second place local driver, 179, Jordan Halligan Bumps. So we had two drivers over from the UK this week, 7 to 8, Harry Westbrook, and 4 to 8, Jason Greener. And today, Jason Greener, 4 to 8 was the winner. Good man. Thank you. 